Hi guys, back with a quick video. I just bought a controller um, because Cyberpunk's coming out. I did used to use I used to use a wireless Xbox adapter so I could collect, connect a normal Xbox controller to my PC. But when I'm playing a game, the batteries always seem to die and stuff like that. So I decided I needed a wired controller. So I got one of these that you can see on the screen. One of these types. The thing is, they get muddled up. There's lots of different versions of them. So here you can see the Afterglow Prismatic wired controller. I connected that up to my PC. It worked, but the software wouldn't work. The reason was, I had bought the PDP controller they have different versions they have um, the Afterglow PDP Xbox controller I think that's it yeah this is the one I have here and the way you could tell the difference let me get mine in here's mine the way you can tell the difference is on the other model that big piece of metal inside I mean just look at the designs inside also this model doesn't have the back buttons you know those back buttons so yeah this is the PDP model it is not the Pris what's it called prismatic model I don't know they've got another one yet prismatic right it, it is not that if you can see on my screen the design they've got that big metal diode thing there and they've got the buttons on the back so one model is the prismatic the other is the PDP so I downloaded the prismatic software which was this afterglow it kind of worked but you couldn't adjust anything properly that's when I realized I've got the wrong software it should be the PDP control so this is what you want if you've got the prismatic one with the buttons on the back get the afterglow if you've got the one without the buttons on the back get the PDP hub and then when you get the PDP hub I'll give you a little look at that shall I here it is you can do all sorts in here from your volume uh, you can sort out your game chat the balance do you want chat or music um, you know you can go into diagnostics sort your buttons out you can adjust your triggers there they are triggers you can pull them down I'll do all this in a review this is not for now you can recalibrate you can do your vibration all that good stuff so this is in the PDP control hub if you've got the same controller as me without the back buttons like I said if you've got the one with the back buttons go for the afterglow one and that's probably the reason why because my afterglow software when I installed it it said no controller connected I forgot the exact um, error but it said it couldn't be found or whatever but it said you can still edit the profiles but please connect a controller and that's because I was had the wrong software so make sure you install the right software guys either afterglow or PDP depending on the type of controller the model you have okay guys I hope that helps you out and I'll catch you all later in the next one